Hello and welcome to a new video of mine. Today it's not gonna be a sketchbook tour. Today I plan to show you what I did in Inktober. Inktober is a really popular event, I mean you probably know it, where you draw most of the time each day of the month something with inks. And uh, the last years I always followed with some friends the official prompt list. So this year we followed the official prompt list again. For me, my goal is not to draw all of the days because it's just unrealistic for me with my mental health and stuff. So I just want to enjoy the event and see what my friends draw and what I draw. And it's just really always such a nice thing to do it together. And... This time I thought maybe I could do some videos and I even filmed me drawing but I took like for the first drawings like for those first drawings around one and a half to two hours until I finished them so the speed paints are really long and I also need to censor this drawing quite a bit so it's gonna take me a bit until I have the videos finished so I thought I just make this video here where I go through everything and here on the sketchbook uh, that was my planning spread kinda where I started having ideas writing down what I wanted to do and uh, which type of um, sketches and drawings I wanted to have and tried stuff out so the first topic of Inktober was gargoyle and for gargoyle I was like, okay, cool, I'm gonna draw a gargoyle. Obviously, it's a really cool topic, in my opinion. So I went into Pinterest and searched for gargoyles, and I saved myself some gargoyle drawings that I found inspiring, and some statues that I found inspiring. And based on, like, four pictures, I then sketched down this pose, and I liked it. So then I took this sheet of paper um, that I beforehand cut it into a kind of a six format. I don't know why, but at that day, I will, I have this thing where I can cut, cut paper with. And at that day, my head was like, how do I use that again? So it's a little bit tinier than a six. And the other part of the paper is a little bit bigger than a six, but that happens. And then I drew this and I really, really like this. Oh, and if you want to see my uh, references that I used or that I saved down to get inspiration, I made a whole Pinterest, uh, Pinterest folder that I'm also gonna link down in the description. Um, yeah, and so that was my first drawing in Inktober. I used here um, a dip pen, um, black ink, and then for the white highlights, an acrylic marker. So for day two, my decision what to do was not that easy. The word was scary and <laughs> I didn't knew the word. So I first needed to look it up in German, what it means. And then um, I really liked the translation fr from scary into wuseln. So you just run around, try to find stuff and you're just kind of in your head and not organized. And so I thought maybe I could um, draw a person that scurries through their room. And that is the picture I then made based on that idea. And it could, um, like my thought train was that it could be like the person, go uh, person goes out and just needs to pick up their stuff before they go out so they don't forget anything that they need. And it should have, like the person should look chaotic and there's a lot of stuff in the room and then I searched out some references for a room I had then one room that I liked and then I sketched that I didn't use a lot of perspective lines because it just takes up too much energy and time for me to do that and I never enjoyed it a lot I still need to figure out how I want to draw rooms and stuff like this I'm not 100% happy here with this room but I had a lot of fun doing it and it's always cool with Inktober that I start thinking outside of the things that I usually do and for example drawing rooms is just something I don't do a lot because I don't enjoy it because I didn't found a way yet to enjoy it. Um, and then 
After I sketched it and inked it, I went over with some ink washes with sepia ink, and then I was like, hmm, I really would love to have more color in it. So I also um, put on some washes of a really nice liquid watercolor I have, and I really like the color scheme of the chaos. For day three, the topic was bad, and I was really excited because I was directly like, I need to draw my character L. And I decided to draw Elle and Amelia together. And most of the time I only draw them with my lilac tumbos and then a lilac black and white color scheme. Um, but this time I drew them with my black ink and then used the red tumbo for the red stuff. And I gave Elle a wool bed themed clothing like outfit. Um, and I also... Like, it was such a joy to just search through Pinterest to find bed themed um, accessories and clothes that she could wear. And I had so much fun with this. And I'm so, so happy with how it turned out. Um, I'm also, I'm not so used to use ink washers. Somehow, I'm most of the time, if I use ink, uh, ink I work more like I did in day one of Inktober. But um, with day two and day three, I decided to use ink washes. Sadly, it didn't work out so good on the dress from Emilia because I was a little bit impatient. <laughs> and then the dress was still too red um, when I put on the next wash. And so it dried a little bit badly. But all in all, I love this drawing so, so much. And I'm happy with both of them, like how they interact with each other. Her, like the little tooth that you can see with Amelia that I usually don't draw because I d draw too tiny but with the dip pen and the size of the dip pen and stuff it works perfectly for me yeah yeah <laughs> and then day four day four was way harder for me the topic was scallop and I just was like Ugh, what am I gonna draw for scallop and first off, I thought of food. Like, I could draw people eating. I have those two characters that don't have a um, name yet. And one of them dresses sometimes up as a maid. And the other one is a law lawyer. Um, So I thought maybe they could eat together. But I didn't like the idea. It didn't click when I looked through references. I didn't find really great references in regards of scallop with food that I could draw well. And I also didn't really liked the references in regards of eating all and all. So I then went through Instagram, <laughs> looked what other people do, and a lot of people drew mermaids, and I was like, yeah, mermaids, perfect. And then I put uh, searched out some paintings as references, and I think I had like four to three paintings as a reference, and I did this sketch where I put down the poses together, and based on that sketch, I then... Um, did this ink drawing and I'm so so happy how it turned out like this is my favorite drawing of Inktober I even think about maybe hanging it up in my room because I'm so so happy I just really like how peaceful it looks and how calm everyone is and I like the color on this paper like it was an aqua green Turkish ink and I really like how the ink looks on this paper and with having a brownish paper I can use the white acrylic pen better and it just I'm really in love with how they interact with each other and uh, with their environment and stuff and I know there are little mistakes like here the water is higher than here but it's still super cool and I'm super super happy with it and then on day five, I did a lot with friends, so I didn't have a lot of energy and time. But I still managed to draw something, and the topic was flame. And first off, I thought about maybe someone that carries a flame and gives over the flame. But in the end, I just drew um, a hand holding flame, uh, two hands holding the flames in a caring way. And I gave the flame a little face. I he here I used. Um, 
some normal markers and then for the reds and yellows I used just colored pencils that I think I tested out here which I want to use. Yeah. And then day six was bouquet and there I thought about flower woman and searched on Pinterest in regards of woman and flowers and then I decided to draw two women holding bouquets and one of them is um, throwing petals down the other one and that is the sketch and I even did a bigger drawing with it and I'm also really happy how this turned out. I just love the colors and how muted and still so nice it is and how nice they look with each other like I really like their interaction and I love the sheer um clothing uh, clothes that I have on and here I decided to go in with a uh, yellow and a pink what uh, liquid watercolor I have after I did the inking um and I'm really happy with it I'm really really happy with it um then day seven trip that was a hard topic I have to say I thought uh, at the start I was like oh what could I do maybe wandering around like a wander trip um and I could really be excited to be outside uh, like one of them could be really excited to be outside and they could face each other and I did hear the sketch but I was uh the sketch and they could travel through a forest and then you would have hear the forest around them and in the background but I just was not 100% excited about it and I didn't have so much energy at, energy at that day and just needed some rest all in all from the week so I didn't do any more. Then on day 8 the topic was match and I thought about directly the girl with the three matches, the tail from Christian Anderson but I didn't do anything more than thinking that could be a cool idea. Um, and on day 9 I had the topic nest and in my head I was like, hmm, what kind of nest could I draw? I could draw a dragon nest, but I could also draw a griffin nest. And that sounded really cool for me, but I don't draw a lot of griffins, so I first needed to practice griffins. What I then did here on this page, did a lot of sketches with griffins. And then also decided to ink this sketch because I like this a lot. I had here the nest. And then I had the little griffins and the big griffin. But I never did a bigger drawing with it. Um, that was not working out. Just not working out. And then already day 10. Day 10 was scrappy and I just was like, ugh. I just, it's, it's a weird word for a topic to be honest. At, at least in my opinion. And I was like, maybe I could draw another mermaid drawing maybe some mermaids that are riding on a crab in the water or something like this but it never drew something in regards of that i believe no i then decided on short notice that i don't do that because it was too much work and i just drew a hermit crab and i really like how this hermit crab turned out um it's really cute but it's just a study of an animal, it's nothing special at all or something like this. And that was everything for day 10 and in day 11 um, I had the topic eagle and I had the idea to maybe draw a person with an eagle that flies to their hand. Um, but in the end I also did only the sketch because I just was not feeling those drawings anymore because they, as I said, took like two hours. And it takes just some energy up and I got more exhausted. It was somehow I was really excited and I did on purpose the drawings only on A6 so I don't put too much detail in it and stuff but I just drew tinier and still spent a lot of time in it. Um, that's why I then went over to continue sketching in my sketchbook. Then the next topic was forget on day 12 and I thought forgetful searching stuff but I could also draw something with forget-me-nots and before Inktober I got an upgrade box where I drew those fairies 
with forget me nots and I thought maybe I can continue drawing them but uh, and I really loved that idea but I didn't draw it because I didn't have the energy and then on f day 14 the topic was empty and there I was also like oh what do I draw with it and I was like empty emotionless eyes an empty stomach where a monster is crawling out and then I was like an empty jar an empty jar of crackers and I liked the idea of an empty jar of crackers so I drew an empty jar with one cookie <laughs> and this I drew without any references what you probably can see in the anatomy but I'm really happy with it because I usually don't do that anymore and what it was fun to do it again and see how much better I got in regards of positioning someone even if I don't have a reference um, though the face expression is kind of weird. So day 15 then was Amadalo. There I also didn't have an idea. So I just decided to go for a little drawing of an Amadalo. And nothing more special. And then came day 16. That was foul. And I first needed to look it up and I found that it could be something like a chicken or a peacock. And I really like peacocks and the feathers are really cool to draw. So I was like, I could draw something with a peacock. And then I was like, maybe inspired by Art Nouveau. And I looked up references and how to combine them, but I didn't do a bigger drawing. I only have that little sketch here. That was an idea. And then the next day... The topic was salty, so I thought I could draw two people cooking with each other and one of them gets distracted and oversalts the soup. So I drew this little drawing where you have those women and they're at the moment cooking together and this one is just getting out some dishes so that they can put the food in them and she is so mesmerized by her that she forgets to look at how much salt she puts in the soup. Um, I felt that idea really funny and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Though I have to say it would probably look better if I would color it because I didn't put a lot of different weight into the line art. But it still was nice and fun to do. Then the topic of the 18 was scrape. Um, and yeah, I didn't do anything for that. I just was like, Okay, and then on day 19 I was exhausted that the topic was ponytail, so I didn't draw a ponytail, but I drew on day 17 a person with a ponytail, so maybe you can count it. I would say no, because it's not a separate drawing. And then on day 20, um, the topic was bluff, and I instantly was like, oh, I could draw my characters interacting with each, uh, uh, each other, and I thought of Miriam and Sophie. And I thought that maybe Sophie ate up all the cookies from Miriam and Miriam is like, did you ate all my cookies? And Sophie is like, but I would never do that. And then I played with that idea and also did a um, concert where they were maybe in bed and Sophie was stealing the blanket from Miriam or having a film evening where Sophie is uh, stealing the blanket from Miriam but they decided for the cookie and here I sketched then the thing with the cookie in and wrote down how I want to write it but first in German and here I did then the drawing the ink drawing and I'm really happy I know that the face is not perfect but I love just the interaction between those two and I really want to draw them more often and it's really fun to draw them in such little comics then the last day where I sketched anything was day 21 and the topic was bad dog Ugh. and I decided okay I could draw that lawyer and the other person that likes to sometimes dress up as a maid where they meet each other and the maid person says to the lawyer do you want to be a good dog or a bad dog and she has the choice but they never finish the drawing i just had here those two sketches where i first was like do i want to have the lawyer standing up or sitting and because I wanted to put it on the same page as here I didn't have the space for standing up so I decided for sitting 
And with the rest of the topics, I didn't draw anything anymore because I just was out of energy. I had a lot to do in, uh, then in October and I needed to rest a lot. So that was my October. All in all, I'm really happy with it. I had loads and loads of fun. Though I have to say the prompts of the official list were sometimes kind of hard. But it still is amazing to draw with my friends each year this event and I just hope we are gonna do something next year again and I just want to end with this drawing because it's just my favorite drawing. That was my video uh, in regards of Inktober, the speed paints of um, those um, drawings here will come later on in some months at the moment. I'm censoring this and I'm censoring this now for a while. <laughs> And I just hoped you had, if you joined Inktober, that you had fun and that you didn't stress out yourself too much. And I st uh, wish you a good week. And if you feel in any way, shape or form bad, I just hope that it's gonna go get better soon. And you can do it. I believe in you.